Hi Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your December 11th through the 20th, 2018 reading for you. Now I've already shuffled and meditated upon the car cards, I'm just giving it one last good shuffle, well not, yeah, just a few more good shuffles, connecting with spirit, making sure that you hear the message that is meant for you. And I also want to let you know that I am doing a giveaway for the holiday season, I believe every week for this holiday season as we move forward and it is going to be giving away one free reading each week so if you would like to enter to win a free reading just give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below and you'll be entered to win a free reading I'm also going to do another page like a separate video on this so that everybody knows because I know that some people only watch the videos when it's time relevant and it's like November <laughs> and this is for December 11th through the 20th so we will also have that. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, oh, there you are. Wow. Um, all that information will be in the description box below. You can also go to my channel and see specials. Not channel, my um, website, Dane Hart Tarot, and see specials that are up and offered. Okay, so this is really exciting because you have so many major arcana cards that it's this is a really powerful 10 days for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, but this is also saying to kind of be a little weary because you only have two regular major arcana cards. You have one gift card and then all the rest, minor arcana, and then you have all the rest major arcana cards here. So this is learning huge lessons. These are divine cards. These are cards that are speaking of big events that are going to be happening. So know that something, something really beautiful is coming your way. And your first card here, is the chariot card so you're moving forward with boldness of purpose you're moving forward kind of reigning in your emotions and saying this is what I want this is where I'm going and this is what it is I desire you're not sitting there and saying okay I can be kind of lackadaisical during this time period you're being very very proactive and it's something that is a little scary for you I do feel as if you're moving forward in a way to embrace what it is that you want and it's taking all your courage it's taking all your desire to move forward and sit there and say, this is what I want, this is what I desire, and this is what I'm going to start manifesting in my life. So you're reigning in your emotions, you're not letting your doubts and fears get the best of you, and you're moving forward in a very real, very beautiful way to obtain the goals that you want. Your next card is you. You are an Aquarius, you are represented by the star card in the Major Arcana deck, and I think it is one of the most beautiful cards to be represented by. It is a card of soul's wish, of your soul's wish being granted. It is the card that the universe, that the divine, that divinity hears you. And that is amazing. And to have you be represented by that Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, it means that you are connected in a real way to being heard, to being seen by the divine, by the universe, even if you don't think you are. You are moving forward in your soul's wish. You are moving forward in your soul's desire. And after a time of struggle, after a time of pain, after a time of disappointment and heartbreak, you are being heard. And it's almost as if that time was there for you to really decide what it is that you want, for you to really focus on what it is that you desire from life and embrace it completely because that's what you are getting. Now, it's not going to be overnight because divine time is different than our time. Spirit time is different than our time. But it's you moving forward and it is the universe hearing you so i want you to know if you take nothing else away from this reading you are heard and you are seen by forces that are greater than the ones that we have here on earth you're leaving something behind you're leaving something behind with the seven of swords that is no longer relevant to your life with that sword being right down here it is something you have to let go it is something mentally that you have to let go it is a thought, it is a way of thinking, it is a way of seeing yourself that you have to sit there and say, you know what, that has been holding me back long enough. Look at him, he's stooped by the swords that he is, he's carrying. A little boy here, which for me represents the angels, is helping him along, it's helping him carry a weight that is too heavy for him to bear. But you are moving forward, you are moving forward now knowing what it is that you desire. You are moving forward embracing a change in your mindset, embracing, embracing a change in your existence. And you are moving forward knowing that again the angels are with you just like the star card you are being seen you are being heard and you are moving forward towards your prosperity towards your desire towards the reigning in your emotions and the focusing the on the details of what it is that you want 
of where it is that you're going, of sitting there and guarding your prosperity and also remembering your sorrow, remembering everything that you've been through. The wheat here is a harvest coming in, but I love how she's focused on creating a blanket. And I love how in the Rider Waite Smith deck, this is represented by a man creating a cathedral. And here it is a woman creating something that is useful for every day. Yes, it is great to know that you are part of something greater and something bigger, but sometimes we need daily reminders. And that's what the Three of Pentacles is saying. You're focusing on the details of life. You're focusing on the wisdom of existence. And you're focusing on the details of feeling part of something more, of being loved and being cherished and being nurtured. And you know that for most people, okay, and in relationships, most relationships fall apart because the details aren't paid attention to. It's not the big grand gestures that make people feel loved. It is the little things that really move us forward as human beings. And that's what you're focusing on here. That's what you're embracing, the little things. The little things that lift the soul and kind of ignite the spirit. So it is in the details that you are finding your beauty. It is in the details that you are finding the courage to move away from something that no longer fits into something that you are fiercely passionate about. There's a sense of balance, oh goodness, there's a sense of balance coming into your life, of going deeper and deeper into the spiritual, going deeper and deeper into what you desire. Again, the angels fiercely guarding you as you're on this journey, as you're finding your balance, as you're finding your footing, as you're embracing these changes. Know that you are moving forward and that at times you are going to stumble. At times you are going to feel overwhelmed. You're going to feel more as if you're in the spirit world and then more as if you're on the earthly plane. And it's you finding this balance. It's you finding this understanding of what your soul and what your heart wants. Okay? And it's you knowing that you are achieving and that you are succeeding. And then it's you getting a gift of new beginnings. With the Ace of Wands, for me, Aces are gift cards. You are getting a gift of new beginnings. You are getting a gift of prosperity. You are getting a gift of passion, of creativity, of sitting there and seeing the world just a little bit differently than everybody else. And because you are, and because you are so blessed as you move forward, you are creating something beautiful. You are embracing your passion. Your passion. You are embracing what it is that you want. And God's or spirit, however you see the divine, the universe. Again, if you take nothing else away from this reading, is right there alongside you. Never feel as if you are alone, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, because you are part of something so much bigger and so beautiful. Your clarifying cards are the Magician and the Fool card. The Magician is as above, so below. As you think it, so it becomes. You are creating in your existence what it is that you want. Know that your mind and your words are going to play a prevalent part in this creation. Know also that you have all the tools. You have the wands, you have the swords, you have the pentacles, you have the cups. So you have passion, you have prosperity, you have knowledge. Okay. Yeah, knowledge is the swords, prosperity is pentacles, love is the cups. And you're standing before an altar. You are letting yourself be seen. Even if at times you don't like that, even if at times it feels completely overwhelming, it's almost as if you're pushing yourself out of the comfort, your comfort zone. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, and you're taking this leap of faith. Again, angels fiercely guiding you, using your passion as an everyday tool. Here, on, as you're jumping over emotions, and here, in the chariot cart, as you're reigning in your emotions, because they have both wands with them. So it's using your passions as an everyday tool. It's embracing your bliss, your prosperity, what it is that you love, and not letting the obstacles of fear and doubt stand in your way. You know that you can do this. And you know what it is that you want. Now, give me a minute here. Just a minute. Yeah, it's a simple little change. But you are embracing who you are. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Never apologize for being you. And also know, again, you are never alone. You are part of something bigger, bigger and you are being heard. Your heart's desire, your soul's wish is being heard. You are walking away and you're leaving behind something that no longer matters. But in your mind, it's time to move on to the next stage of your existence. You're reigning in your emotions. You're using your passion as an everyday, in an everyday way. And you are moving forward 
in what it is that you desire. You're creating something new and you're boldly embracing what it is that you want. You might be going, for some of you, this might be physically moving, okay? It might be moving somewhere new. It might be doing something new, but this is really sitting there. And for those of you who aren't you know, physically going to be doing something new, it is reining in your emotions and sitting there and saying, yes, I am moving forward. But this is movement here. This is not staying stagnant or in the same place. This is things evolving. This is focusing on the details. Your gift is in the details, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant for these 10 days from December 11th to the 20th. So you're focusing on the details. You're focusing on your prosperity. You're also focusing on feeling part of something bigger in your everyday life, embracing your wisdom and finding your balance, going deeper and deeper into what it is that makes you you, into what it is that you want. At times, you're going to feel off balance because you're going to be finding your footing. You're going to be finding your fo footing between what your soul wants and again, what you want here in this earthly realm, what your heart wants, what your mind wants. So you're coming into balance and you're learning what it is that you desire and you're going to see that you are getting a gift of new beginnings. Take it. Aces for me, gift cards. So as you take these new beginnings, you start to move forward. You start to see that you are changing your world and your existence, that you are standing before the altar of your life and saying, you know what? I do have more blessings than I ever thought I did. I do have more talents than I ever thought I did. And I am going to live in prosperity and in, mag in majesty because of his purple robe here, his shawl thing. And then he has the white on. So you are remembering sorrow. You are remembering disappointments, but you're not letting them define you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You're taking a leap of faith. You're moving to something bigger. You're moving to something better. And you are literally sitting there and saying, I might be scared. I might be overwhelmed, but it's time for a change. And that's the change that I am embracing. Your, I love it, your clarifying card, the Knight of Wands. Well, not your clarifying, your subconscious message, the Knight of Wands. You are passionately moving forward, passionately creating something. Now, this could also represent a fire sign, a Leo, an, an Aries, a Sagittarius. This is being passionate. This is moving forward in desire. For some of you, you might have been wishing for a new beginning with somebody. And this Knight of Wands is representing that somebody, somebody who's passionate, somebody who has their armor on, so it's a little bit hard to get to know. But once you do, it's absolutely amazing. This can also be representing you moving forward with passion and determination, having your armor, and, uh, armor on, knowing that things aren't always going to be easy, but never letting that deter you from achieving your goals and getting and becoming what it is that you want. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Take that chance, really. New beginnings are coming and take this gift that is being given to you. You are not going to be disappointed and beautiful, beautiful things are coming your way. Never give up on yourself. All right. Bye.